Hello everyone, how are you doing today? I'm back with another video and in today's video we have a Lenovo IdeaPad. This is a Lenovo IdeaPad Y700-17ISK, also known as a model name ADQ0. Those information can be found at the bottom of the laptop on the sticker. And in this video I'm going to take you on a step by step how to open it up and how you can upgrade the hard drive and add an hard drive and what are the proper way of having the hard drives installed in here so they do and i'm going to explain what kind of uh, hard drives can be installed in here and i'll leave the link for one of the best brands and good brands that you could have all right first thing first you want to back up all your files always when you want to upgrade the hard drive or do anything so grab an external hard drive pull out your files do everything cloning can work but it's not really a reliable solution cloning hard drives they do give sometimes errors on the file system, this and that after a while. So I always recommend it to uh, do a fresh install of Windows. I did make a video on how to create Windows 10 USB boot drive. I'll leave that link in a video description. It's absolutely free and there's no charge. They don't charge you to download and you can download it directly from Microsoft website. Also, I made a video how to install Windows 10 using a boot drive USB for Lenovo laptop. You can find those links in my video description. All right, regarding upgrading, removing the hard drives, first you wanna power off the laptop. You wanna flip it upside down. It is kind of heavy, this is a 17 inch. Now down here, you're gonna see a whole bunch of screws. The tool that you're gonna be needing is a screwdriver set. I recommend you guys highly to grab the iFixit screwdriver set as they do have one of the best bits and screwdrivers out there. These are made out of S2 class steel. These are really tough in steel. And if you get the pro version pro set, you do get an opening tool and tweezers and opening tools and other stuff. If you don't want to get a pro version, get the simple version and grab yourself a guitar pick. A metallic guitar pick is really suitable to opening covers and pretty much cases. All right. Now at the bottom of the laptop here, you're going to see a whole bunch of screws. This one has been missing a screw one right over here and this we replace this one with a different color screw pretty much there are two sets of screws in here the short ones and they are the really long ones the longest screws are these four at the back there are two on each side first we're going to start removing these two four screws and keep them in one pile so you don't mismatch them so go ahead and remove them all right, once you remove this big long screws, go ahead and start removing all the rest of the tiny screws and put them in different pile. Also, if you guys like my videos and if my video does help you guys to do your own upgrade servicing, you can support the channel by clicking that like and subscribing to the channel. I will really greatly appreciate it and it will be a tremendous support for me. Once you remove all the screws, all you need to do, open up the laptop a little bit. And you wanna stick the guitar pick between the top and the bottom cover, just like that in there. Just find your way to stick it right there. Now you wanna twist it towards the screen all around and you're gonna hear some clicking. That's fine, that's what you wanna hear. Those are little tiny clips that they get loose. That's what you wanna do all around to the sides, go all the way to the back corner. Make sure you do the back corner, do the left and right side. And once you did the front and the sides, all you need to do is to grab the front and lift it up a little bit and push it towards the back and it will release them. You have to scoop it out. So pretty much lift it 10 degrees and push them towards the heat sink. And then you can really release them because it does a scoop in right in there. I made a video how to upgrade the RAM, how to clean up your fan system, everything like that. But in this video, we're gonna go over the hard drive. There are two types of hard drives you can have here, 2.5 inch SATA hard drives and M.2 hard drive. This does not take an, NV uh, this is an NVMe hard drive. So you can put an NVMe hard drive in here or you can put an M.2 hard drive. It is backward compatible, this jack. So you can buy an NVMe hard drive and you can place it in here and you can have a big mechanical hard drive right here. You can put a one terabyte mechanical drive and one terabyte or two terabyte NVMe drive. The best recommendation would be to put the windows on your NVMe drive 
and have a me big mechanical hard drive for your games and uh, video movies whatever you have in here but if you want to go a little crazy you can grab a, another two terabyte ssd 2.5 inch uh, so you can actually when you turn it on you can move around freely without worrying about damaging your mechanical hard drive because as we know that when you power on the disc plates inside the mechanical hard drive they start spinning and when you move around when it's turned on you can damage the platters or the headers of the hard drive to remove the hard drive you do not need to remove the battery to do this but if you do want to remove the battery it's really simple just by pulling these cables back but absolutely you don't need to i'm just gonna remove it without removing the battery so you guys can see to remove the m.2 drive to remove one screw at the back of the m.2 drive and it will come out in 10 degrees and then pull out pull back in the same in 10 degrees so this is a nvme 240 gig and some MVMEs they do have only one nut, so yeah. And to remove the mechanical hard drive, you have to lift up this tab right here. There's a little tiny clip that you put your finger underneath and lift it up 90 degrees, and then you can slide out the flex cable. And now this hard drive is being held down by a caddy. There's a four screws, one on each corner. Remove these screws right here. Once you remove the screws, now you can simply go ahead and lift up the hard drive. There's a lot of tiny foam there. These are low profile hard drive. You cannot, you can actually put a bigger hard drive. You can put a thicker hard drive, but um, because there's a foam on the top and bottom, it's just gonna adapt to it. Now to remove the hard drive, you need to remove this caddy, this adapter right on top. So pull this adapter on the base, don't put on the cable. Pull it out. I actually push it back here and remove that up. The adapter only goes in one way. Once you remove the hard drive, you want to grab your new hard drive or new SSD drive. In this case, let me see if I have one laying down around here or no. I did have an SSD somewhere over here. There we go. So you can grab an SSD hard drive. Make sure the orientation for the pin. This is a SATA pin and this is a power connector. They are facing the same direction. So what you need to do is to remove the screws from here on every side every corner also for those that wanted to know how to remove the battery here just pull this cable back and that's it all right once you remove the four screws just simply separate the yeah, put a little stupid foam foil tape here on top you don't actually need this foil tape you can rip it apart it's just nonsense and remove the hard drive okay so this is the other hard drive and this foil tape in here you can actually cut it out from the corner here so it doesn't bother you now you can grab the new hard drive in or ssd put it on top and screw it down and at the end place the adapter right on top so it become the same this is a demonstration i'm not actually going to replace the client's hard drive but you get the idea so pretty much you put the hard drive back in there, put the adapter on top, and put the screws back on top. I am going to turn on the laptop once I finish so you guys can see that it turns on and it does detect the hard drives. So because I heard people keep talking and saying that no, it doesn't work, your laptop is not working because it's dead or something. So for those people that they have a trust issues, I think I have to do this. Now this is very important to put the flex cable for the hard drive. It has a little tiny ear lobes on the sides. It will not go straight uh, sliding right through. You have to bring it down in 45 degrees inside the jack and put it down and then lock it down. So bring it down in 45 degrees right all the way towards the jack and then hold it down and then lock it in place. To put the M.2 drive, slide it in 10 degrees all the way towards the jack, bring it down. Make sure the screw hole matches, put the single screw for the M.2 drive. Once you finish with all this, if you have disconnected the battery, just go ahead and plug it back in. And put the four screws for the hard drive caddy for the mechanical or SSD. Now the last step down here would be 
to grab the top case and you want to scoop it down in 45 degree you want to scoop the back end right here on the hinges bring it down in 45 just hook it in and align it in the corners and push towards yourself holding the bottom with the other hand and make sure you hit those tiny clicks and bring it and then push down on the side make sure you hit those tiny clicks and the last thing down here would be to putting down the screws I'm going to start putting down the four big screws first and then I'm going to splatter down put slap down the small screws and after this I'm just going to power on go to the BIOS and check the hard drives in there you can have even up to four terabyte M.2 drives or four terabyte and SSD drives in there with no issue at all Okay, so let's go power it on. And then we get the charger. So let's plug in the charger. Uh, I think for a BIOS is F1 or F2. I'm just going to tap on both of them. And I see the logo. Pretty much it is turning on. And we are inside the BIOS. And in here. I do see my, I don't know, it's not gonna focus, it's a 500 gig, you know, Kingston M.2 drive, and disk two is a Western Digital, the model 10 SP CK, CX model. And pretty much that's it. Again, if you guys like this video, you can click that like button and subscribe to the channel to support the channel. If you have any question or request, feel free to leave them in a the video comment. And as always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next video.